Welcome back, guys. So there's been a lot of amazing news going on out there in the world of FPGA gaming, specifically with Mr. But man, we've been spoiled, essentially. We've got Neo Geo on the Mr. Tons of arcade cores, classic consoles, and computer systems. And there's been announcements of development on some other pretty interesting things like the PlayStation Core, very early development, Sega CD, amazing stuff. So today what we're gonna be specifically looking at is the brand new public release of the Game Boy Advance Core for Mr. This is a core I've really been looking forward to, to have a Game Boy Advance in consoleized form and not have to pay the outrageous amount of money for a Game Boy Advance consoleizer. Man, I'm all in. I love Mr. and it's really starting to replace a lot of things for me. I've really been digging it. I do have a playlist down below linked if you want to take a look at all my previous videos on Mr. I have tutorials, all that good stuff. Today, I'm going to take a look at some footage as you're already seeing, and I'm going to show you how to get this installed so you can get up and running with Game Boy Advance. There's a couple little things that need to be pointed out, but yeah, this one I was so excited for because I, I still remember the day lining up to get my Game Boy Advance on release and the handful of games that I got that day and then all the games I wound up getting over, you know, the life of the console. There's just so many awesome releases, all the Castlevania games, the Super Mario games, a bunch of obscure things and then like really popular stuff, Golden Sun, Advance Wars, the lists go on and on. The Game Boy Advance is amazing. And to play it this way, I know there's tons of other options. We could use Game Boy Player, we could get the Game Boy Advance Consoleizer um, coming out sometime next year. Analog's putting out the Analog Pocket, which I'm very excited for that product as well, uh, because that's gonna be a portable system, but they're also gonna sell a dock for it as well, so you could play it on your big screen TV. That's pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's not unheard of nowadays having a console that switches from handheld mode to you know, TV output mode, but hey, really awesome, amazing stuff. And Mister is an ever evolving project with just tons of stuff going on with it. And it's very exciting to follow. Definitely not for everyone. Uh, some people will prefer, uh, you know, some kind of mass marketed uh, developed product like the analog pocket and hey, I'm all for it as well, can't wait for that. Or, you know, they would like to have an actual original console be consoleized, like the Game Boy Advance consoleizer, but man, definitely very neat, but pricey. So in order to get this stuff going, uh, it's very simple. So like I said, if you wanna get caught up on Mr. Stuff, I do have a playlist linked down below and on my website, madlittlepixel.com, I just started implementing an FPGA section on my website because we started getting a lot more Mr. and FPGA gaming news. So I'm gonna have that section going live pretty soon. We already have some articles up uh, on the main pages, but I'm gonna have some specific areas just for FPGA gaming. So definitely take a look at my website. Really would appreciate it, madlittlepixel.com. Gotta plug it, why not? Um, but in order to get this going, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to this GitHub page, Mr. Development Game Boy Advance Mr. I will go ahead, put a link in the description. I gotta make this stuff easy for you guys, right? I mean, it only makes sense. So as you see here, um, this is one way to get Game Boy Advance on your Mr. project. Uh, you can also use your updater script if you're connected online, but I know some people don't bother with that and prefer just uh, adding the course that they want. Uh, and this is actually the way I prefer to do it as well. Occasionally I will run the updater script, but I just prefer doing it this way. Uh, so on this page, you will see that we have a section for releases. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at some of the notes down here. Uh, so there's gonna be some hardware requirements and features listed, very important to note. So this is gonna require 32 megabyte SD RAM. So you will need to have that add on board. I think a lot of people do. Uh, so you should be fine. And this is specifically for games that are less than 32 megabytes. So you will require that. Now, the majority of the games for the Game Boy Advance are below 32 megabytes. There is a handful that are above and they will require a larger module, 64 megabytes or 128 megabytes. So I know a lot of us got really excited for the Neo Geo core and we jumped on that 128 megabyte train, which wasn't 100% required, but it did give us a handful of extra games that weren't supported 
by the 32 megabyte board. Um, so I know a lot of people have that. If you have the 128 megabyte, you're pretty much future proof for a while, which isn't really future proof if it's only for a while, because who the hell knows what's to come, right? Uh, so this right now is only HDMI, no native VGA, which I think the vast majority of people jumping into this aren't going to be too bothered by. I know some people will want to have that VGA output uh, and it's not currently implemented, um, but it says that it, it, it can be enabled with uh, changing this option, uh, the VGA scaler in Mr. Uh, .ini. So it, it will output the same HDMI resolution. I haven't messed with any of that, um, but getting that native VGA output is going to be something some people want, and I'm sure eventually it will come. Uh, the next thing is going to be the BIOS. Uh, so currently, um, and I would believe going forward, they're not going to include the original BIOS. Uh, this does have an open source BIOS from Normat. Um, so they state that it does have some issues with some games. So keep that in mind if you don't have access to the original Game Boy Advance BIOS, but if you do by chance have that BIOS file, you can replace it in the folder uh, by naming it boot ROM. We'll go through that process real quick. I prefer to use the original BIOS. And they state, don't report errors if you have not tested with the original BIOS. They don't want to know about it because there's bound to be issues with a non-official BIOS. So make sure you test with the original before you start uh, letting them know about errors and whatnot. Um, games with crashes, they do have a little list here of games so far. Uh, that have reported issues and some workarounds for, you know, like Banjo-Kazooie or whatever. Uh, not too disappointing at the moment. I haven't tested all these. Uh, Final Fantasy IV hangs in the intro. That is disappointing to me because I love that game uh, and I do like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot on the Game Boy Advance. Status. So far, around around and about 200 games have been tested until end game. Uh, so that doesn't mean that they played through the game. That just means they started it up and it was playable. So 95% without any major issues, but you may find some small stuff, graphics glitches and whatnot. This core will be polished over time. So, you know, calm down. Uh, features, all video modes, including affine and special effects, affine. I, I don't know how to speak the English. Uh, all sound channels, saving as in Game Boy Advance and a turbo mode, not included. We don't have multiplayer features, which is fine. I gets it. Uh, no Game Boy Advance module functioning like the Boktai Sun Sensor. That is kind of a given. Real-time clock, that will be a little bit of an issue for some people. I have a real-time clock attached to my my Mr. setup uh, and also using, you know, Wi-Fi or being connected to the internet uh, gives you all that access, but it's not been implemented in this course. So keep that in mind. Don't get too balls deep in this stuff uh, if it requires a real-time clock, right? Uh, if you can even start the game without the real time clock, some some games will give you an error that uh, something's wrong. So keep that in mind. So there's all the info. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So here's my Mr. SD card all set up and ready to go. Um, this has been a work in progress for a while. Um, so on that website, actually, we do need to go back on there. What am I thinking? Uh, we need to go to releases. So click releases and then always at the bottom of the list. The, this list will grow over time with every release. They'll have all the, you know, different versions and releases that have been put up just in case you need to revert back to something. Um, but this RBF file right here at the bottom uh, was just committed 11 hours ago. I've had it, uh, you know, pretty close to when it first went up. So I've been messing with it off and on today. Um, but you'll go ahead and click on that one. And then, boom, we're on that page for that file. Then just go ahead and download. Click it. Download, put that on your desktop, wherever the hell you want it. Doesn't really matter. Just as long as you know where it is at. Okay, we're done with this page now. Like I said, you could also do the updater script. I just prefer not to. That's that's my business, right? Um, so on your Mr. SD card, if you're formatted the way I am or however you do it, put your RBF file wherever you have them. I have them in this console folder. So I'm going to go ahead and put that Game Boy Advance file there. Boom. Let it transfer over. It's like three megabytes should only take a second. We're good on that. We could we could set that bish aside. Now the next thing we need to do um, is our games, right? So I have this Game Boy Advance folder here uh, with a piece, just a, a smidget, a little tiny piece of the Smoke Monster EverDrive pack for the Game Boy Advance EverDrive. I have that thrown on here. Always the Smoke Monster pack. You, you know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Curated 
everything's good, boom. So I have that there. Now, as far as the BIOS goes, I do have the original Game Boy Advance BIOS right here. Shh, don't say nothing. We're gonna drop that on over here um, and then rename it right now. So we wanna rename it. So what was it? Boot? Not but, you gotta put it the boot ROM. Yeah, we wanna change that extension. We are good. Um, let's double check. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Name it the boot ROM. Yes, there we go. Name it the boot ROM. Now, once you've done that, you're, you're good. You don't, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, having your Game Boy Advance BIOS set that way, thrown in where you have your, your ROMs. Uh, once you go into that core, it's just going to know. It's going to know what's up. Don't worry about it. You are good to go. So let's go ahead and jump on the mister and showcase, you know, setting up controls and all that good stuff and testing it out real quick. Let's do it. So here we is, we're on the mister and we're gonna navigate to the Game Boy Advance core. As you saw earlier, I put it in my console folder, so that's where it's gonna be. And there she is. So let's go ahead and hit enter on that core. Let her load up and then we get this little splash screen. Now you're gonna have to press your disc button either on your IO board or whatever you have programmed uh, you know, on your controller or keyboard to correspond to that. Once you do that, you are going to be in this menu. You could load .gba files, which is going to be the file format for Game Boy Advance ROMs. Uh, we'll check that out in a second. Aspect ratio, we have 3-2. Or you could stretch that bish out and go 16-9. We ain't messing with that, but more power to you if you want to stretch her out. Uh, we also have scan lines and uh, HQ filter, which I don't really like, and I think these are very unnatural for Game Boy Advance so I am not messing with them, but they are there. You also have a stereo mix, 25, 50%, uh, seven, no, 100%, 25, 50, 100%. Uh, you can leave that to none and you should be fine, um, but you could play with it if you wanna get that stereo mix. Pause on or off, and if you hit right, uh, you have a few more options. The most important one is gonna be defining your Game Boy Advance button. So let's hit enter, and then press the corresponding buttons on your controller uh, for how you want these to register. So right, left, down, up, that kind of thing. And whatever you want, A, B, uh, L, and R. Don't forget you have an L and R in Game Boy Advance. And then your select and start. There is a turbo button that you can enable turbo. Uh, if you want to skip that, you can go ahead and hit your space bar on your keyboard if you have one plugged in. I don't typically set up those kind of buttons, but you have the option there. So no, we don't want any alternative stuff. If you want to remap specifically, per game, like if there's a game you'd prefer to have like a different mapping, uh, you could save specific key mappings per game if you have the game loaded up uh, and you go into this menu, you would do that here, the button key remap for game. Then we can also mess with uh, scale filters if you have custom ones on your build. Um, otherwise, just leave it to internal. If you have custom ones, you can go ahead and select a different filter there, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna leave it to internal. Uh, gamma correction, on or off, nice little option that we have there. And then you can reset to the default or save your settings. So let's go ahead and load up a game, find a good one, see how it works. So you just hit and enter whatever you have set up as enter uh, to select a game. So let's go ahead and find something amazing. Sonic Advance, no, yeah, let's, let's do Sonic Advance. So once you hit enter, it may take a moment to load up. Uh, but once you're in it, you're pretty much in it to win it. Um, and every game, you know, it's not going to be 100% right now. This is still an early build uh, with this core. So keep in mind, you may run across some random things here and there. Uh, maybe some graphics glitches, stuff like that. That's pretty much all I have seen so far. And mainly uh, just like when the game transitions uh, from screen to screen type of thing. Um, so definitely keep that in mind that if you find something a little wonky, don't get all up in arms. You know, we got this thing for free. Uh, it's not worth screaming about. Just do your part, communicate uh, any issues that you may find if you're using that original BIOS file. Um, but like I said, mostly the only things I've seen have been maybe like some missing layers or a graphics glitch when the screen transitions, not like in a normal gameplay screen like this. Uh, just in some things I've noticed that. Not everything, uh, but some games I'll notice like a little glitch when the screen transitions from level to level or uh, just, you know, shifting around type of thing. Uh, nothing major, nothing for me that I'm like, oh my God, I can't play this this way. 
Uh, so, so far it's been very great in my opinion. Awesome to see this core running, uh, getting that Game Boy Advance. I still can't wait for the analog pocket. Um, you know, typically analog, they have some very polished cores that they use, um, you know, especially with Kevtris working with them. Um, so definitely excited to see how that works. Uh, you know, it's a similar thing. It's FPGA gaming, but I think the market is a little different. The market appeal for both devices uh, with Mr. It's a DIY thing where you got to put in the work to get everything going unless you have somebody set it up for you. Um, but, you know, the analog stuff is like, hey, pretty much you just buy it. Maybe there's firmware update or two here and there, um, but it's pretty much just plug and play ready to go uh, for you to pop in your games. So that's definitely cool. And there's always jailbreaks for, for those devices as well. So I'm sure the Pocket will have a uh, ROM loading uh, shortly after release. I mean, it's bound to happen, right? But hey, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today on this video. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with Mr. If you guys want to see more content, I do have that playlist link below. Uh, if there's anything specific you want to see with Mr. that I have not covered yet, let me know. We'll get it out there for you. So hey, that said, oh shit. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye-byes, and boom. Bye.